What is going on folks? This is Chaotic Videos and today we're going to be looking at Paragon, a upcoming free-to-play multiplayer online battle arena game, or MOBA as they call it, developed and published by Epic Games. It's said to be released for Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 4 in the mid-2016s. Here guys, I uh, just, just got the game, uh, it's actually open beta weekend. As you can see the homepage guys, you just have some intros and some gameplay tips. On the side you also have some more tips and forms. On the bottom right guys, as you can see it is in early access and you can also uh, play with your friends. Uh, bottom right guys, just go ahead and invite some friends if you have any. I don't, so can't really invite any. Uh, top right guys, you have your level, which I'm currently level 1. You have your coins and your rep, and you also have your name, along with some daily rewards you can actually accomplish, and you also have the community right here, which you can add some friends, feel free to add me, chaotic videos, and you have the settings for the chat. Next guys, on the top right, you're going to see the settings, the controls, report bugs, player, support, legal, and exit game. Uh, here guys is which my current settings are, um, fully epic, ultimate everything, high as possible. My PC is pretty good now. Uh, this is actually a very very nice game guys, you should really try to pick it up, at least for the free beta weekend. Bottom left guys, you have the chat, which currently I'm not in any channel, so no one's gonna see that. Here I'm currently in the home page, next we're going to go to the play page. Here guys you can uh, do solo versus AI where all your teammates are AI and your opponents are. You can do co-op versus AI which you play with actual players against AI opponents. And then you can also do player versus player which is locked until level 3 which is just players versus players. Next guys we have the store. In the store you can happily purchase a cheap to mid and expensive range of founders packs for when the game does release get some extra goodies. You also have some um, other bonuses such as XP, uh, different types of cards, and nice skins to your character. Uh, in the profile tab, you just have the profile, the statistics, and your character uh, name, information, rank, all that, all that goodie. And here's something you need, guys. You, there's a watch tab. You can live stream directly from Paragon, and Every, other people from Paragon will be able to actually watch you. That, that's kind of unique. I, I really don't see that that much. We're actually going to go into solo versus AI, guys, because I am horrible at MOBAs. I played League of Legends before. Didn't work out for me. And plus, when you if you do solo versus AI, you usually find a match pretty quick. Um, of course, you're going to have to ready up once you find a match, or you will not be in it. Here guys, you have the character selection screen. You can um, choose between a variety of heroes, not too many, some are locked out, but still, you get a nice gist. I'm actually going to go with Murdoch, which is a ranged soldier. So it's just Call of Duty style soldier, guys. That's pretty much all. Basic, simple, I like it. Here you can choose the roles you want to play as, so your teammates know what you're going to do. Um, I'm actually going to be a ranged DPS, so I'm going to actually set it up for a ranger. On the right guys, you also have the position of which lane you want to play if you've ever actually played any MOBAs. There's three to more lanes and you have to conquer those lanes. I'm actually just going to do all around. I'll be switching between lanes every now and then. And you also have your abilities right there along with the available decks you start out with. Ranger or Caster deck. You can buy more uh, decks later on for a small fee. Here you also have these skins if you want to customize your character, which actually costs real or in-game currency. Um, here guys, uh, we got into the game. On the left you'll see Harvest Amber. Kill enemy minions and collect from Harvester to equip more cards. Grow in power, unlock and upgrade your hero's abilities when you level up. And also push to victory. Destroy enemy towers and inhibitors to expose their core. Currently guys, um, the first objective you're going to attack is going to be their tower. Then there's also going to be their inhibitor and then there's going to be the base once you destroy their base it is game over for them or for you depending on who's going to be doing the destroying as you can see guys we just started here's my teammates spawning apparently we have uh just spawned in on the top left guys you just see uh, the amount of minions towers enemies i've destroyed which currently is zero Bottom left, guys, you see a nice little welcome menu in the chat. Um, under that, you see your cards, which I'll get into later on. 
and unspent power, which also get into later on. Uh, in the middle bottom, you see my health, which is 400 out of 400. You see my current mana, which is 200 out of 200. And you see my current level, which is 1. Um, here on the bottom right, guys, uh, if you click left crit, uh, if you have enough points, you can actually level up and get some skills. Um, skills are Q, E, R, left click, and right click. Currently, uh, you, do not, you do not get all your skills right away. You actually have to um, unlock them by leveling up. Left click is my basic attack, which is a nice little power shot. Uh, I just unlocked the Q ability, which is just a scatter shot. Nice little shotgun type uh, attack. We're dealing with um, a lot of smaller enemies or grouped up enemies. Go ahead and click G, guys, to get into your starter deck. And I clearly click the ranged one. Currently, I have 3 out of 3 car uh, card power, so I can actually choose up to 3 cards that have level 1 power, 1 card that has level 3 power. Currently, I just use two level one cards, and I only have one left. As you can see, um, different um, types of cards have different types of abilities, such as damage, attack speed bonus, um, range bonus, crit damage, all that stuff. These cards are actually level three, guys, so I can't actually equip them. I don't have enough cards uh, points. I can actually equip one more card, such as a harvester key or the scout sword, but I will save that for later on. Currently, I do with um, health potion and mana potion because they're going to be useful later on. If you go ahead and click your shift ability um, for this character, you can actually start sprinting. Of course, if you're in combat, you'll stop sprinting, and then if you get attacked while trying to sprint, you will get interrupted. Uh, WASD is for movement. Like I said, uh, sp uh, shooting is left click. Your sec uh, secondary ability is your right click, which mine is currently shield, which I don't have unlocked. Uh, spacebar is to jump and that is pretty much the basic commands here guys you see the minions the minions are just uh, little enemies um, they just go forward they don't really go anywhere else they just go forward attacking whatever they attack first uh, they're nice little backup units um, they're also good for taking down towers which I'll get into later on as you can see, they are pretty easy to kill, not that strong, but I'm not really all that buffy right now. Of course, I'm still level 1. Just trying to level up real quick here. See, I'm already halfway there. Here's another enemy. It looks like he did try to go for me right away. I see he's weaker than me and I have my teammates uh, with me, so we are going to be able to destroy him pretty easy. And it looks like my teammate helped. Alright, nice. Got a good amount of XP and I leveled up to 2. Leveling up to 2, I can use the left uh, CTRL button, and I can actually unlock a different skill or upgrade a certain skill. Of course, you can't just automatically upgrade your best skill right away. You actually unlock those later on. Here's my current right skill, guys. It is a shield, and if I left click on it, I can actually push enemies away from me. Currently, your ultimate is R. <clears throat> you actually unlock that later on. Uh, I'm not sure what level exactly I forgot. But, like I said, um, each time you level up, you get to choose between a certain amount of skills to upgrade or unlock. So you can't really just choose whatever you want. Of course, it's to make it fair. No one's, Of course, everyone's going to unlock their ultimate right at level 2, if possible. Here, guys, is the tower. Uh, the tower, um, what you're pretty much trying to do is, uh, well, incubator, I believe, not tower. Um, you're supposed to attack the nice little soul crystal looking thing over there. Once you completely destroy that, that spot is dead. But there's a huge turret defending it that does massive, massive da damage, which can pretty much two shot you, depending on what's your HP at. Here, guys, I just unlocked my trap ability, which, if you go over it, you get slow down, attack speed, and movement speed. But I was hoping he'd go back so he'd actually get into it, but he didn't. The reason minions are useful is if you let them go in first, uh, they'll actually get attacked by the tower. And then um, you actually have a chance to attack the incubator, or the nice little crystal there, and have a chance to destroy it and not take any damage. Without minions, guys, you will not win. Here, guys, uh, it looks like he did use an AoE attack, which I actually saw him placing, so I kind of stepped out the way. And it looks like we are getting pushed back a bit, but luckily our minions are right here. I was actually going to try to go behind him and try to get him out from behind. But I did forget there's a giant tower defending them. The 
tower will only attack if you get within range, which I believe is the circle in the middle. Okay, what should I unlock? I believe Buckshot would work. Currently, my main attack I use is Buckshots and my ultimate, of course. Here, actually, I fell down. This is called the forest. Or the jungle. Uh, there's different types of classes. Some people are actually um, jungler race. Which they just stay in the jungle and go from area to area, pretty much attacking things. Uh, either disrupting the enemy, attacking their towers, or pulling them in and taking them out one by one. Junglers are very useful guys. There's also enemies in here which actually provide special buffs. Or actually uh, give you a good amount of XP so you can take them out without having to worry about the enemy attacking you. Here guys, I actually saw I was um, ahead of him so I was just going to go take him out. And yeah, looks like he thought he was going to get me, but not so lucky. Here actually we're going to go ahead and go back to the base uh, by clicking B. This will teleport you back to the base after a short amount of time of not getting attacked. So you have to be in a safe area while doing it. And let's actually go unlock some more things. We have 10 out of 12 power cards now. We can actually unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Go ahead and use this, this, and this. Just give me some damage. As you can see, I have 1 out of uh, 12 left, and I can't really equip anything else. So keep in mind, guys. Uh, well, actually, I can equip those scouts toward our harvest key, but I don't really use those that much. But uh, yeah, that is going to be all for that. You can also upgrade these later on for a certain amount of cost, such as 2 for each. And they actually give you attack speed, damage, more health etc so even if you have your favorite cards on there you can always upgrade them some more also currently in the um, top right guys uh, you do see the minimap uh, well, mini map I don't know what the hell I just said there um, that actually shows where your teammates are your minions are and if your teammates actually see the enemy you can actually see where the main enemy is so you can see okay they have one on the left one on the right and two in the middle which one just got destroyed. So let's go help the guy in the middle, you know, just take him out a bit. Whoop. You're actually using my uh, slow ability. Just trying to hope I'd uh, actually catch him. He actually defended him by using my shield and pushing the enemy back. Just so my teammate could actually get away. And nice, I leveled up and I can actually unlock my ultimate now. Go ahead and click R, and we're going to unlock that baby. I'll actually show you that a skill later on. That skill actually costs a lot, a lot of mana. So you can't just go ahead and spam it all over the place. It's called an ultimate for a reason, guys. Nice, got another one of them. Alright, alright. Go ahead and take out these minions, because if the minions are attacking other minions, they will not proceed forward. So they will not be attacking the tower. So that is going to be a no-no. Also later on after you destroy a certain amount of their things. And pretty much they level up a bit. The minions get actually stronger, buffer, uh, more buffed. And have more health, damage, and other cool stuff like that. Of course there's melee and ranged minions. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I actually just really wanted to uh, take out the minions because they are taking our guys out pretty quick. And I saw that thing was locking onto me, so I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna go anywhere near there. Looks like another one of their friends actually joined in the middle. Now it's gonna be, looks like two on two. Looks, like, They're not really smart guys, they're AIs. Usually you don't just like run into an enemy if you see stronger than you. Also guys, as you can see on the bottom left, I have my health and my mana potions in slot 1 and 2, and my staff in slot 3. Um, currently, uh, you can actually change out your slots uh, in the card tab. Um, and I have up to 3 of each, mana and health potions. As you can see, there's the little blacked out bar, and there's 3 of them. That just means I've already used all of mine. 
And uh, once you use it all, you have to go back to the base and get some more. And I was getting annihilated here and barely survived. Barely. Like I said, even though I am low HP, uh, don't expect you to automatically kill the enemy. Because depending on their skills, they probably have a higher chance of surviving. Alright. Looks like... Here, I was actually going for the... Uh, crystal and hopefully and I died yep I have 35 seconds to respawn uh, of course later on in the game uh, I believe it will take longer to respawn the reason it's such a high respawn rate is if you kill all the other enemies then you pretty much have 35 seconds to freely advance so if you if the enemy is at my base and we're all dead there's a good chance they're gonna destroy the main base and then we're screwed you guys, I actually am upgrading my current staff. Just so I have some extra damage. And I also decided, hell, let's get this. Else my HP a bit. Currently, the game is pretty much over once either team takes out the main base, which is usually um, roughly between 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how good you are. I haven't really seen anyone do it faster, but of course, this game just got an open beta, so yeah. And that right there, guys, was, um, it's a nice little circle miss on the ground, and if you go into it, you're pretty much going to be invisible. And that was my ultimate, guys. As you can see, it's a nice little laser cannon. And it pretty much annihilates every single thing in its path. Doing very, very high damage. Not one shot kill sometimes, but still close enough. Here, she was not very smart. We're all gonna gang up on her and pretty much destroy her. And it looks like the minions did get me distracted. So that did kind of mess me up. Also, guys, the graphics in this game are wonderful. Um, if you ever play League of Legends, um, League of Legends is more for any type of players. It's not super graphic based. So a lot of players can play it. But this game definitely uh, takes the cake with the graphics. I really like it. I like the fact that they have a Gears of War style gameplay. Which if you ever actually played Gears of War, you actually notice your guy is more into a closer third person look. So you actually have the feel that you're actually playing similar to first person. But you can actually watch your back and other stuff. As you can see guys, I entered a pool of mist, which just makes me invisible to anyone that uh, pretty much tries to find me. Unless another enemy is in here, or if I start shooting. I'm currently getting roughly around 100 to 150 frames per second on a GTX 1080 with an i7 6th gen processor. And that's pretty much my, my motherboard's pretty standard, just decent gaming one, nothing too fancy. <clears throat> Plus you can also lower the settings, of course. Uh, here I actually use my ultimate just because I'm really trying to take this uh, crystal out as fast as possible as fast as possible and I apologize I keep forgetting the names and I keep mixing up such as towers incubators and other stuff like that but you pretty much get the gist of it I'll just explain it and what it actually is detailed from I uh, hear I actually just set a trap I was kind of hoping he'd come this way as you can see I tried to attack him and he does go invisible for a short amount of time but I got him with the help of my teammates you just you just see traps all over the place, guys. It looks like the crystal's almost dead, and he's going for me. No, 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 no. Could use a nice little health potion and some mana right there just to get some more skills. He actually lured him into my trap, and I actually used it twice on him, so that really did some work right there. He saw I was very weakened. He had full HP, but I took him out fast enough. Like I said, don't really rush it, guys. 
Here, actually, I saw the crystal was almost destroyed, and I was like, yeah, I gotta get this. Uh, ooh, perfect. If that would have hit me, I would have probably died. Luckily, I managed to take out the crystal just in time. Once you take out the crystal, guys, the tower stops shooting, and it's deactivated. And then that lane is open up to um, move more forward. And then you have the tower up there, guys. That is a similar thing. It's a little smaller, and I believe it does deal probably a little more damage. Ooh, nice. He actually fell into my trap. Let me go ahead and take him out real quick. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Uh-oh, hold on. He has a teammate. And booyah. Uh, funny thing is, actually, in League of Legends, a lot of the attacks, if you're um, doing ranged, um, don't auto-lock. Um, so it's kind of hard to aim sometimes. This game is also pretty hard on that because you actually have to aim the crosshair towards the enemy. So if you have a very small crosshair, if you have a weapon that needs to be very accurate, such as my ultimate, you really have to aim it carefully. You can't just start spraying everywhere hoping to get some kills. It looks like we did destroy their tower, I believe, on the either middle, I want to say. And you can actually tell when we destroyed it because then it'll just be uh, straight black in the area where the tower should be. Oh. Okay, inhibitor. That is, I believe, what is the, this is called. Um, could have sworn it was tower though. Oh, careful, AOE attack. Always get out of those guys. If you see that coming towards you, you just better run. Okay, it looks like their inhibitor is almost destroyed. So that last one was a tower. This is an inhibitor. And the base crystal, I'm not sure exactly what that's called. I can actually forget. Uh, I haven't really played many MOBAs, guys. Though this one, honestly, is a lot fun. I actually didn't expect it to be this much fun. League of Legends was pretty good. It was just more of a competitive type game. This seems it would actually to be enjoying while playing it in my opinion like i said i'm not a moba type guy i'm more of a first person shooter or role playing game type of guy guys doing some pretty good damage right there next to me all right it looks like i've got a good amount of troops so I'm heading towards the uh, middle I'm just gonna go take these guys out some people actually use their ultimate on minions just so their minions could go forward just so we can take out just one of their items such as an inhibitor or tower which is it's not a bad move guys um you do want to take out their um defenses as fast as possible just so you can pretty much uh get the advantage also once your minions die pretty much all your minions spawn at a certain rate the rate um usually uh, varies depending on when the um, the amount you already taken in that lane and also the level of the minions depend on the amount you've taken in the lane so if you just have um, one minion uh, don't worry more will come or more are already on their way you can actually see they're in a light blue line form on the mini map and that's when you know okay my minions are right there they're about to back me up let's just go take out these guys so we can push forward These guys, for some reason, are spawning really quick. Die, die, die. I took out his armor there, that's good. Their armor is the orange thing, their health is the red thing. You take them out both at the same time, but usually uh, armor takes more damage, so yeah. And their mana is the purple bar. Ooh, I can upgrade my ultimate. Nice. I'm actually going to go back to the spawn by clicking B just because I really want to spend some of my card points which I have a crazy ton amount of. Okay, let's see. I have 15 out of 33. So let's just go ahead and upgrade all these. Alright. Now let's get on to it. Uh, we should be able to finish it off here. I believe or I, I know there's no way they well I don't want to say there's no way they can win guys um, I've actually played like I said League of Legends for a bit and 
I remember when we were actually we destroyed all their defenses, everything. We're about to take out their main base, like half HP, and boom, we all got wiped. And they all started pushing one lane, managed to destroy all of our defenses, get right to our base, and pretty much turned the whole game around. I believe we actually end up we lost that game, I'm pretty sure. And no, you're not gonna tank. So guys, always keep in mind, have a good team. I recommend playing with teams or friends just so you guys can communicate because there's different types of characters. There's tanks, there's DPS, there's melee and range DPS, there's support. Um, some enemies just do AOE attacks, so that's good for groups. Some just do single attacks, so that's good for heroes. Just so you know guys, keep in touch with your uh, party, usually, or use even chat if you don't actually have a party, if you just have random players. Just try to communicate, that always helps. Here guys, uh, I realize there's a harvester. A harvester, you just uh, step on the nice little uh, stand, the pad. And just go ahead and do that, and you're going to get a whole bunch of points and XP. As you can see, if I just start standing here, nothing will happen. I'll just say harvester is empty. And once it just recharges, it'll give you like one or two. But you just have to wait for it to harvest again. And then you can go collect it. Also on the minimap guys, as you can see on the left side, there's a nice little triangle in the circle right next to our tower. Like directly in the middle on the left. I believe that is a power up. In many MOBAs, if you unlock certain um, areas and you keep them, you actually get nice little buffs such as more HP, attack speed, um, health regen, other unique stuff like that. That actually helps you, so either you or the enemies always try to capture those points. I actually wasn't able to demonstrate it here because I was just really trying to focus on destroying this tower. As you can see guys, it is a war zone over here. Pretty crazy. And it looks like three of their uh, teammates just started rushing us, so that is definitely not good. Looks like two of ours are still back the way. Yes, looks like me and the guy next to me are pretty buffed up right now. We do have all of our skills and most of them maxed out. I'm not sure if it's similar to League. I believe the max level on this game is, I want to say, 20 or 30. That would make sense to me since I don't I don't think you can really go any higher than that. But yet, I, yet again, guys, I'm not 100% sure. He actually did trap that enemy, and my friend did use an ultimate, or the AI used the ultimate right there. I really like the fact that I can jump and shoot at the same time. It gives me some nice mobility. See through those enemies. Since uh, League of Legends is based on just from uh, up to down type perspective, uh, this game is more third person, which is pretty pretty cool variety. I don't know what the heck destroyed me here. Um, it looks like actually the core did. The main core of the enemy is the thing we need to destroy to win. And it'll pump out a good amount of damage after a while. Yeah, I was actually just going to upgrade my health here a bit. And it looks like that's all I can upgrade. Once you die, you can also access the card slot or just click Q to change camera mode. And left and right click to change the actual person you're viewing. Uh, to open up card mode, you, you have to be in the spawn. But like I said, when you die, you can use it. So that's always nice. So you don't have to just wait there. You can think, okay, I'm going to equip this with this. Also, keep in mind, guys... Similar to League of Legends, they also have cards, they have um, items it's called, magical items, and you really want to keep in mind what you choose. I remember when I played League of Legends, there was these websites where it actually tells you the best option for these characters and what you should really equip on them and when you should equip them. Of course, uh, keep in mind if you want to be a good um, Paragon player, you should probably look for those websites, get a nice little card set, other things like that. Uh, like I said, this game is still not released. It's set to release in mid-2016, which is currently mid-2016. So hopefully they'll release it in a couple of months soon. I actually might start, I might pick it up and start actually playing it a lot because this doesn't feel more like a mob to me. It seems more like an actual shooter uh, type MMO. That's why, that's why I like it. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, 
Uh, it looks like our teammates are still attacking the incubator over here. Since I have crazy, crazy damage, I can actually take that thing out pretty quick. Yet again, it can probably take me out pretty quick too, so I'm actually going to wait for some minions over here. Charge! I don't care that they have minions. As long as uh, our guys take the damage so I can take this thing out. And it looks like my teammate should have been helping me. No, no, no. See, as you can see, each hit is doing more and more damage. I barely survived that. I literally have critical health. I'm at like 10% health, guys. I barely survived that one. Luckily, we did, though. Uh, so we can actually start pushing from this side, too. Um, if you really want to take the base, the four, out faster, you take out all three incubator. Uh, incubator. Uh -huh. Sorry, tongue tied. Incub. The towers. Take out the towers. Once you take all three of them out, then all your minions from all sides can actually start advancing. Um, it's better to have a um, attack from two sides or three sides than just one. Because they only have to defend one. If they have multiple, they're going to have to split up. That automatically means more damage. As you can see, I am still in sprint mode. I was uh, running. So I was just trying to get away from him. And here I actually did stun him. So that was good. You just hear my heartbeat going. That's how critical health I am, guys. You actually hear my heartbeat. Yeah, I was actually using my ultimate. It looks like my teammate did kind of get in the way. I still managed to take out some other guys, so that was good. And here, I think we're going to make the push. So I really need some HP. gonna take these guys out real quick just so they're not taking our guys and it looks like their um, core is less than halfway damaged so we can probably take a mom to use a mana buff and a health buff here uh, looks like I'm gonna die soon though and yes before I died though guys we did manage to destroy it got a nice little cutscene over here guys we have just a cheat victory Nice little uh, cutscene right here, and you have all the heroes on your faction, or the winning faction, that is. Just displayed here with some nice little action, and then you get warped out. Here's the scoreboard, guys. The game lasted 27 minutes and 44 seconds. See the most dam uh, kills, the deaths, the assists, the minion kills, and the card XP. And next to that, you also see the player and the amount of points they had on their cards and all the items they actually bought. So keep in mind, if you see someone that's doing really good on their team after the game, if you lost or won, you can just go ahead and see what their uh, setup was. Well guys, um, that's going to be all. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you really want to get this game, I'd actually recommend going on right now and uh, try out the free open beta weekend. See you folks.